Welcome back, DigiDees, to more content here on the channel, where today we're going to be doing exactly what I promised from last episode. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new map of Hollow Bog. As well as that, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new character that we have not seen here before on the channel. Last time, we took a look at the gunner, and the gunner was pretty effective in putting out a lot of Daka Daka out in the field. But you know what? He was a little constrictive in the fact that he could only fire in front of him. He couldn't hit targets around him. The scout is a little bit kind of all-rounder, but not very strong. So how about today we take a look at the driller and the driller does exactly what the driller does the driller drills and the driller knows best because the driller drills now the driller can be able to drill through all the rock very fast i'd imagine and on top of that also has some good kind of a like close range weaponry and see what else kind of upgrades we can get along the way so hey how about we jump right into the game and see exactly what this has in store for us so yeah right off the bat we get plus two minor mining speed in general and for two seconds stacks up to 25 times when we are mining so that's a very good kind of a quick ability. And we start off with the Subito 120. Quick firing weapon that shoots behind you and deals kinetic damage. So how about we get started? Let's go. Now dropping on down into this now. Okay, very interesting. The Hollow Bog is kind of what I imagined. It is very greenish. It's very vinish, kind of swampy. And my God, the driller drills. That is drilling very fast. And immediately our very first upgrade is going to be a 9% XP gain. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I think getting XP gains your very first upgrade is probably one of the best ways to go because that is just going to be, I mean, that's, that's a nice modifier to everything that we get here now in the future. So try to collect up as much gold as possible and then try to focus down some of these guys that are coming in. Do a little bit of damage increase on this. 15%, not too bad. Something a little bit extra. Now, this weapon does fire behind us. It doesn't fire in front of us, but it does fire behind us. So we actually have to turn our back to the enemy in order to get off some of these shots which I think is a little bit funny because we are the driller. So a lot of times we're going to be trying to like drill away from the enemy, trying to get our distance, trying to, you know, ma make our way through the terrain. And you, wait, do these vines hurt us? Oh, you can. Okay. So you can mine through the vines. That That is notable, uh, but I suppose you're not going to be able to get any experience or percentile chances with something like mining through the vines when it might something that will require the rock, like finding gold through mining stone of those other sorts. Oh my god, yeah, it's stacking up 25 times with the driller. Really does stack up on top of that. And do these vines hurt us? No, we can't walk through the red ones at all. We have no way of getting through there. So our first artifact, increase your fire rate and reload speed when standing still. I mean, I don't really think it's going to be that important. I think getting a, a small chance to get XP when breaking rock is going to be a little bit more beneficial to us. Another upgrade immediately, I kind of want to do... I mean, I kind of want to get a critical chance in increase right there. 9% critical chance increase right here at the very early start. Some good early start choices in general. Try to get some of that stuff just stacked up very early on. Get some of these resources standing around. We should be coming up to one of the elites or like a horde any moment now. Yeah, yeah, we have the swarm coming. That's the, that's the word I was looking for, the swarm. You know, this is honestly not too bad. We have ourselves some bigger targets that are right on their side of the wall. Trying to keep my distance a little bit, just enough to activate it. But we have our very first weapon choice. Do I want to shoot a rotating beam of fire with a flamethrower? A corrosive sludge pump shoots a beam of acid, which leaves corrosive paddles on the ground and grenade that deals explosives and a large amount of damage. Okay. I mean, I kind of want a rotating beam of fire. That seems pretty effective. I think damage over time abilities are going to be really nice. And considering the fact that we are going to be drilling, if I can get something that shoots out in any direction, can I get it on the other side of the wall? No, you cannot. The wall does actually block the flames. It doesn't like kind of phase through onto the other side. But look at that. It doesn't be able to take out all that grouping of monsters. It flames are actually needs to reload. I just noticed it does actually have a reload. Come on, lay off for me, lay off for me. Yeah, it can go ahead and just light a whole grouping of them on fire. That is amazing. It's super effective. And plus 35% extra damage on the flamethrower. Immediately a legendary upgrade. My God, hello? Yeah, that is just, I mean, literally cooking through them. That is amazing. Another level up I am going to do, I'm going to say more damage. Just more damage. I mean, it's considering the fact that this is damage over time because it is a flamethrower. It's flame damage. Oh, God. <laughs> um, I guess I will take, I kind of want to do a reroll, but not for 15 gold. That's really expensive. Uh, I'm going to do a critical chance. I'd rather have a better chance at getting a critical than actually any damage of when I get a critical. Come on. Oh, yeah, that thing is absolutely just eating through them. more damage. Why don't we just start effectively only focus on the flamethrower? Try to get this going through because that is actually just taking them out immediately. My God, and an eraser more leveling up more of these guys just taken out. I will take 25% extra damage Getting some really good weapon choices here in the start. I, I got to say, come on. We need a flamethrower reloaded, reloaded up, reloaded up. Get the boss, get the boss. Just target him down. Yeah, that is doing so much damage. Holy crap. That is doing like 70, like 40 per second. That is a lot. 
That is a lot, lot. I should probably be traveling around here a little bit. And we got ourselves a magnet bringing in all the XP to us. That is amazing. I will take a move speed because it is... We seem to be moving well pretty slow in general. I will take the increase because, yeah, look at that. A 4% and a 9%. It honestly does not feel like I'm moving 14% faster. It feels like I'm moving like almost like a 25 to 30% faster. Get some of these bolo caps that are sitting around and this gold on the ground. Come on. No, uh, not quite in time. There is a whole bunch of bolo caps sitting right here on the ground next to me. I need to collect up all these, taking some damage as I move through all these guys. Um, okay, I need to get off to the right-hand side, but there's also a bunch of XP in the ground here. Okay, I can do this. Gather yeah, all this up, take some damage, move it on through. I think that's fine. Now we just need to absolutely hightail it to our location. We might actually have to drill through the ground here a little bit because there is a lot in the way. Come on, come on, come on. Get this last bolo cap. Yes, get the last bolo cap. Get that all that goodies, gold, experience points, and move on to the pod to the next floor. My God, one second to spare. <laughs> Holy crap. Now, I know I took quite a bit of damage there on that round, but I was kind of doing it a little bit purposely because I know that there's going to be other chances to get health here in the future. My God, 63 gold for 18% reload speed to everything. That is, yeah, please and thank you. My God, that is going to take us down to 38 gold. And we may as well get a reload speed for our pistol and a little bit of XP gain right there. And we should be sitting pretty. Continue on to the next floor. There we are. Draw out the elite. Now, I think our secondary objective appears to be mining some of this blue stuff, this Morkite. So, oh my God, that is going to be super. Uh, yeah, that's going to be an easy secondary objective. A lot easier than the bolo caps, I got to say. Uh, I will take, uh, I guess I'll do just more damage. I don't care how slow the reload speed is on the flamethrower. I just want more damage in general because that is absolutely drawing out everything. A single deposit of Morkite does get the secondary objective already complete. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of travel around as much as I can, find all these resources so we can buy as many upgrades as possible when it get to the end of the round like we just did. And plus, I think the round goes faster dependent upon how many of the enemies that we have killed. So I think it kind of just progressively builds up over time, especially since we fired behind us with our pistol. They're always going to be chasing us around a little bit, which is going to be kind of nice. It takes them out while we're focusing on mining out all this stuff, get the flamethrower going. I think it's about to actually hurt me because I don't have enough firing behind me. Come on, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Doing the rocks and the and the vines at the same time. Oh God, I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> My God, uh, I did not realize how close I was to be just absolutely surrounded and dog piled on. Um, shoot beams of acid. It drops a flamethrower turret or a grenade that explodes. I kind of want the grenade because it does kinetic damage. We already have fire damage. I mean, acid damage could be effective. I guess we, why don't we do a little bit of da acid damage, right? Throw some puddles on the ground. That should be good for, oh, wow. Yeah, it does a big circle of it. So it kind of like, you know, protects me in a little bit in a, in a way. Kind of see when it goes off here again. Yeah, get a nice big circle of corrosion damage. Just hurts them as they all walk over it. Beautiful. There is a lot of enemies going around here. And of course, it doesn't affect the flying creatures. I don't think, at least I, I would say that it probably doesn't. Can I get some of those guys to explode, please? Get that mini boss taken out with that health bar. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I need to mine out the circle right here to try to get this thing to drop down on top of all these guys. And we have timed that on perfectly. Drop, drop, drop. Yeah, baby. Okay, explode in a ring of fire whenever I take damage. Increase the healing granted on level up or knock back and slow enemies when I take damage. I mean, I kind of want to get the increased healing whenever I level up because I level up a lot. And I will take 35% increased damage on my pistol. That is effective as those guys blow up around me. Get that guy to blow up. I want all this XP because I do heal up now even more when I level up, which is fantastic. We've got more mining speed or lifetime of all beam weapons. What is a beam weapon? I guess that considers to be my flamethrower and my acid shooter. So I guess they just kind of go out a little bit further. Yeah, I, I guess so. That The flame does seem to be out a little bit further than what it was. Because, you know, it has a longer lifespan, I suppose, before it dissipates into the air. Oh, yeah, that corrosion is doing amazing. I'm looking at all these guys just taking all that acid damage while they kind of move along. And, you know, I just noticed, too, the, the rock guys, the big green dudes. Ooh, and our first upgrade. Hang on. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of other stuff going on. Plus 25% damage to everything else except my own pistol. Or 25 reload, really, and fire rate. I mean... Honestly, I don't really care for the fire rate or reload rate. I kind of want them. I, they're the plus 25% damage to everything else, right? All other weapons plus 25% damage. I mean, yeah, I, I'm going to... Or I could salvage it. I'm not really sure what salvaging does, but I think I'll get 25% to everything else because my primary damage dealers 
uh, ironically, appear to be my flamethrower and my acid shooter instead of my primary weapon that I started off with. And I need to find a way to get around these mines. This is actually proven to be a little bit of a problem. Now, those big green dudes, typically they can actually mine through some of the rock and can find a path over to you. But they cannot get through those red vines at all. So it helps kind of the pathing a little bit. Because now I can just focus on these guys coming in through this single path. Yeah. Get that to blow up. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. They all have to come through a single point of entry. I can just really consolidate these guys into a single point of just absolutely just dominating them. Come on. Keep on moving around as I take a little bit of aerial damage. Um... I will take status effect damage because both of our weapons are basically status effect damage and I need to move around here find a little bit of health I know I said that we'd be fine because I could just find more health around here but I have honestly not found much health around here I've not found many opportunities to get some of this stuff um I'm gonna mine out some of this because I think we get more xp if we get more of the secondary objective yep there it goes some of it popped off is there more health around here yes there is there it is right there off this left hand side can I get that please before we take out the boss yeah, a good heal up. Up to, up to 108. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. That, that that's damage is really stacking on top of him. I'm trying to get the flamethrower affected right on top of him. Wait for it. Wait for it. And there it goes. Yeah. Just try to stack around a little bit with the circle. Constant DPS on him. Get some of this gold, maybe? Come on. Come on. He's right on top of me. No. <laughs> trying to avoid the damage the best that I can. We do take him out. Try to get this guy to blow up on the other side. I will take status effect damage because that is just more damage overall for us. Get that to blow up beautiful i'm gonna mine my way through because we are in danger can i get some of those guys to go off though and blow up and get all the xp yes i can oh my god <laughs> that is so much i guess i'll take mining speed if you don't mind i would kind of prefer to have more level ups for my weapons i will increase oh that just upgrades it by level two for no particular reason i will take armor to take less damage oh and the vines grow back the vines grow back and oh my god there is a lot on the way i need a I need to be a little bit better about not taking damage with this stuff because I am taking a lot of hits. <laughs> Moving on to the pod, on to the next floor. See if we can find ourselves a little bit more health this time around. Try to focus a little bit more on trying to find it, but we did get 130 gold. Not a lot of nitro though. I will take increased damage to the acid shooter and I will take, I mean, I guess we'll do range for in general because that's just gonna be really great for the flamethrower the first so they can reach into a grouping of enemies. Oh, and plus 20% damage to all my weapons. I mean, yeah, that's just a base format upgrade to everything. And more status effect damage. That's basically 10% to everything. Except, I guess, suppose my pistol. That is amazing. Continue along. We are just absolutely dominating on how much damage we are stacking up on this. I bet as soon as we find some of these enemies, we're going to be able to just absolutely chew through them instantaneously. Yeah, just as much as we chewed through this with the, with the drill. My God. And we have a chance to find XP when we drill out some of this rock as well. So I should probably be mining a little bit more, trying to find more free XP. I will upgrade the pistol. It does have less damage at the moment, but it could still be nice to upgrade. See what kind of choices it has when we do manage to, what do you call it, morph it, I suppose. Come on, lay off your shots. Thank you, please. And we have double health city right next to each other. Triple health city right next to each other. My God, now that is exactly what we need to get back up to full health. Yet we are at full health right there. A couple of bolo caps sitting around. May as well take a little bit of damage because there is more health just sitting here for us to take. There we go. Yeah, up to the top, up to the max. Beautiful. And there's even more health. My God. <laughs> there's a lot of health sitting around here. He knew exactly what we were looking for. Get some of this gold, a small little deposit of it. Come on. I'm going to try to see if I can just consolidate all these guys into a single point. I'm going to hold my ground here. Get that flamethrower to reach around. Yeah, that get that whole group of enemies with that beautiful. We do have a swarm incoming, so we are about to get absolutely surrounded here. There is a lot going on. Get that flamethrower going off. Oh, I just love the way it sweeps through the enemies like that. That is amazing. I will get a critical chance. Not entirely certain what our critical chance is right now. I think if we hit escape. Oh, yeah. On the left-hand side shows us all of our percentages. We have a 28% chance for a critical, which is really good considering the fact that we do DPS. So I'm not actually entirely certain if it is a per, like, per instance of taking damage. Like if they are taking fire damage, if it counts as a critical chance or what. But... We do a lot of DPS with the flamethrower. Lots of firing off opportunities. There is a couple of these guys. Come on, get the pod, get the pod, get the pod. Land on top of them. Take them all out. Get the artifact. Um, knockback enemies when I take damage. A small chance to find XP again. That's even more. Increase my fire rate and reload speed when standing still. For up to 10 times. I mean, I'm not going to be standing still that much. I may as well just take more XP chance when mining through rock. I, I guess considering the fact that I just mine through stuff so fast. And I will take... What do we want for our last weapon? 
I can get a flamethrower turret or a handheld microwave emitter that splits its damage between all enemies caught in its cone. Deals fire damage. Really? That seems really interesting. So it just kind of does damage to everything in its cone. Let's take out what that is. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is just a giant cone of just kind of like damage that it does to everything in its proximity. That seems kind of a little OP, not gonna lie. That seems like really, really effective. Like you could probably upgrade that to be like really broken. I'm gonna kind of circle back around on this stuff. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Yeah, okay, I need to be a little bit more careful. We are kind of low on health in general. Get a little bit of reload speed, move around. Let's find some more health around here. I'm sure that there's a whole bunch. We took a lot of damage being surrounded back over there, especially with all these enemies around. Let's mine on through, mine on through. Please and thank you, swarm incoming. Yes, I'm well aware. Get on through this territory. Is there more health sitting around on the ground? Anywhere at all, please. Anywhere at all. I'm trying to avoid these guys the best that I can. Here's some nitro on the ground because we have not found really any nitro this run yet. Get a little bit of this ender pearl. Broke it down almost immediately. Actually, it's still sitting back there. Okay, keep on moving. Keep on moving. Stay away. I cannot get through there. That looks like that is a dead end. Keep on moving. Take out this mini boss if we can. Get the flamethrower focused on him. Yeah, there we go collect some of that stuff up there we go beautiful and i will get a reload speed on the microwave cooker because it seems to be really broken if you can get that just kind of focused in on all these enemies but look at that that is damage to all these guys and a constant rate within that cone that is amazing keep on moving around consolidate all these guys just kind of bring them in a giant grouping oh my god that is so much i bet they're all about to blow up come on blow up for me blow up for me Blow up for me, yes. <laughs> That's exactly what I want. Oh my God. Increase all fire damage may as well, considering that most of our damage is fire damage. Increase the 15% damage increase, more damage increase. That is amazing. Another damage increase. Why don't we increase all beam damage? Yes. I don't know if that giant cone counts as a beam, but I will take more damage again. Oh my God, there's so much. Um, I will take reload speed, I suppose. I will take damage for the pistol. Get some of this resource sitting on the ground. My God, we just leveled up so much. That just skyrocketed our capability of getting far in this run. Because yeah, we are, we, plus we're at full health now too. We get more health every time we level up. And that increase was just amazing. Come on, keep on moving through. I need to take out the boss here though. But, you know, we are low on bolo cap. See if I can mine on through and finish off that secondary objective before the map ends. Keep on going through a couple of bolo caps here on the ground. We need two more mine my way through beautiful we only need one more and i think i see it here on the mini map to our bottom left yeah there we go get all that xp get all that free gold that's gonna be popping on out get this microwave cooker maybe on top of the enemy I'm not really sure how to target it it just seems to have a mind of its own not gonna lie uh okay that is kind of far away i'm gonna need to mine through all these vines why don't i get close to the drop pod i'm not fine oh god it's all exploders they're all exploders. <laughs> I'm like, there's there gonna be no way of getting through that without taking at least one explosion to the face. My God. And move on to the drop pod, why don't we? We're making some good time on this run, but my God, there's a lot going on. What do we want here? A 35% damage increase. My God, that is very nice. 30% lifetime though. I mean, well, hey, this one takes nitro. So 35% damage increase. And this one takes gold. So 30% lifetime. I think I think we're golden. Yeah, we are set up for life. We are set up for good. We have one final layer to go, I believe. Yeah, there on the left hand side, we are on the one before the final wave. So we can go ahead and just try to run through this as fast as we can to get all this gold. And I'm really tired of finding all these bolo caps. These bolo caps are probably the harder ones to find in terms of secondary objectives. I kind of like the more kite one. It's a little bit more direct and straightforward. You only need 20 of it, which typically only takes a couple of groupings of it to really kind of complete that secondary. But bolo caps, you got to like find like 12 of these darn things. Keep on moving around as much as you possibly can. It's almost not even worth it. But you know what? Hey, if you can get it vicariously while you're just moving around the territory, all around the terrain, you may as well get this ender pearl that's sitting here in the middle of this rock. Come on, get it, get it, get it. Move on through. Move on through. Don't stand still for too long. They are really liking to circle in on us. I will take 35% increase of damage, really offsetting that decrease of 25% damage that I got earlier to give 25% increase to everything else. I'm just going to mine on through. There's too much already surrounding the entire area. Get some of this nitro. Again, we now have not found a lot of nitro these runs in general. This seems to be kind of a little bit more hidden around. Come on. Yep beautiful swarm incoming get some of this gold i'm honestly just trying to find as many resources as possible while just moving around the map uh we are gonna probably stand our ground here i think a little bit 
because we still have quite a bit of this round to go through before we're done with this layer. So I may as well try to focus on some of these guys as much as I can. Move back on through, get some of this gold because they're starting to focus up on me. It's starting to focus up. Got rid of that little mini boss. Get some of this health sitting in this rock. Come on, and mine on the way through. Beautiful. Get another bolo cap. We only need two more. And I'm running out of breath. I'm running out of mouth. I'm running out of <laughs> I'm running out of air. I don't know what I mean by I'm running out of mouth. I think I'm just running out of my mouth being dry. <laughs> the words just don't stop coming. Keep on moving. We got a little bit of crop up. Get ourselves a little bit of bolo cap as well. Honestly, I, I think I kind of just want to hole up somewhere. We need one more bolo cap. And as soon as we complete that, we can just go hide somewhere in a corner and just kind of wait for the wave to end. There's got to be some over here. Maybe we'll find a little bit of health as well if we are lucky. Not getting lucky. Not seeing anything just yet. I do see the bolo cap. Come on. Come on. Circle back around. Yes. Yes. Uh, don't explode on me. Don't explode on me. There we go. Stay out of their range a little bit. Um, I guess I'll just do more damage in general. Yeah, we, we need to take out these, these groupings of enemies a lot better. Come on. Just use that wave cooker to just target down this entire mass grouping of them. Dodge their projectiles a little bit. There is a few of them coming through the territory. Dodge it a little bit. Oh god, okay. I'm starting to get focused on a little bit. I'm, I'm getting a little uh a little claustrophobic here. I, okay, there's a little bit of room just to try to mine myself out of this situation. Don't mind me, just move it around the territory. A supply pod did drop down somewhere around here. I'm gonna try to circle around all this giant group of enemies, try to get to it. And I don't know how well that's gonna go. My God, there is so much. There is so much. I, I can't keep up with all this. Holy crap. Um, <laughs> there is a lot going on. I will take a reload speed, please. I need that to go off a little bit faster. Um, I need to get rid of all this rock, all this territory. Come on, keep my money through. That ender pearl was stopping me. Come on, drop on down, drop on down. I'm taking so much damage. I need it to drop. Yo, there we go. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to survive this. I'm not gonna lie. I think I might be, I might be getting taken out here any second. Oh, leveled up. There's so much XP on the other side. I need to get all this XP. The level up, the level up is healing me. Get more armor damage, please. The level ups are healing me just enough to survive. <laughs> There's so much going on. I need the level ups just to get some health back. My God. The more damage on top of all that. Holy crap. Mine through the vines. Get more of this XP sitting on the ground. I don't want to leave any of this behind. That is a that is a lot. I will get a fire rate, I suppose. One more upgrade from morphing the pistol. And holy crap, there are a lot of tentacles all the way around. Um, <laughs> please give me another level up. There we go. I will take, I suppose, a critical chance. I suppose that is gonna have to be good enough for this. Kill the elites. The elite is right behind me, chasing me around. I kind of want a better area to hold off on, away from all those tentacles, because there were a lot stacked up over there. Get the flamethrower on him. Come on, circle around, circle around. Circle around the flamethrower. There we go. Beautiful. Where is the drop pod? And it is below us, unfortunately. Kind of mine on through the rock and run away. I, I'm probably going to have to take some damage trying to get back to the pod. Move around, move around. Dodge. The, oh, that was close. Dodge the tentacles. Dodge the tentacles. Get onto the pod and get out of here. Get to the final floor. My God. Are we going to be able to succeed? Are we going to be able to win this? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm seeing it very hard to envision myself winning this, but we may have a shot at this. I will imagine my weapon is prettier by three times because it does give us the morph. I don't want fire rate reloads. Well, I mean, that could be kind of nice. Change the damage type to acid. We already have acid on us, so I guess we'll do fire rate and reload speed. That's going to be all right. Gain some more XP. Now we'll do a reroll. We want lifetime, maybe damage if we're all my weapons. That seems pretty good in general. 35 to lifetime. Yeah, why not? And I think that's going to be everything that we need. Continue along. And already dropping down on top of an egg, activating one of the bosses, actually. I mean, honestly, that kind of helps me out a little bit. It gets the, gets the ball rolling a little bit faster for us. And there is some health sitting right there at the spawn. Beautiful. I'm going to have to take a moment, though, before I can get it. Get this guy taken out, please. And thank you. There we go. Taking them out very early on before they have the chance to spawn too many enemies on the map. Get this health sitting on the ground, please. I need it so badly. That put me all the way up to 87, 88 almost immediately. That is very nice. I will take a damage increase for the flamethrower there. I think I only need a single more, a one more upgrade before I unlock the ability to morph it in the future. So hey, if we get the chance to find it in the future as a weapon choice, kind of just get rid of this guy. 
then we will have the option to morph it see what abilities it may have to add on top of it i'm gonna mine on through i'm not gonna be able to find a way out of here unless i just keep on mining through these rocks but the problem is the more i mine through these rocks the more the more like openings i find for them to move through as well i'm making an opening for them and me come on focus up the boss yeah yeah oh that is just beautiful taking him out he's on the very front line taking all the damage and i see a little bit more health up here at the top mine through the rock get some of this please i need it real bad does that put us off to full no it puts us up to 139 a little bit close we do have a slight bit of health regeneration but not a lot of it so over time we will get a little bit of it back but not quite enough this is the giant egg i probably need to find the other eggs on the other side in order to get the boss to activate we need to take out all the other smaller eggs on the map and i'm not really sure if it helps if we do it like as early as possible for or if we wait wait for them to activate naturally i'm not entirely certain i would feel like maybe if we go through it as early as possible it might make the boss a little bit weaker it doesn't give him as much i don't know like gestation time to be a egg I, I suppose you know what i mean he's he's an egg for a reason right he's a c cocoon move on oh god I, I couldn't move past it couldn't move past it door stuck door stuck find a supply beacon on the other side oh and there's a lot of rock in the way too there is too much rock in the way my god look at all this and some of these are vines the vines grow back how's that gonna work move on through I'm, i can mine faster than he can chase me i can mine faster than he can chase me keep on moving through yes yes get the rock get the rock okay beautiful now the pot is gonna come down right on top of the boss right on top of the boss please Oh, not quite, but close enough. I will take... I don't need XP when I take damage. I guess I will explode in fire damage whenever I take damage. Beautiful. Okay, I have a little bit low on health. I need to find a little bit around here somewhere. And honestly, this might be the end of us right here. This might be the end of us right here. There is... We are surrounded. There is no way out. Move on through through the vines. I will take, I suppose, armor. Because I want to take less damage. You want to take damage. Please move on through just barely alive <laughs> just barely alive oh god i'm surprised that we can even survive through all that i feel like the loot bug should maybe give us like you know some health out of it instead of just gold you know per se or just you know like nitro out of it i feel like some health out of the loot bugs being nice too you know that's kind of a third option just just you know maybe one a little health bar please and thank you as i take more hits oh god i don't really have anything to hit random small targets around in the areas so like even these small guys just moving around it's not really much that i can do about them i just have to dodge as much as i possibly can and i got i don't really have a lot going on here i'm feeling more and more surrounded i don't know where the last egg is to try to activate this boss early on it's gotta be around here somewhere probably up north move on through keep on mining god we are getting surrounded so much we need to find more health anywhere at all uh, up here maybe up on this north side where we have yet to explore there's got to be something around here i see more nitra just kind of oh hey there we go there's a little bit of health thank you that's exactly what we need because i know at this point i'm like a single shot away when the boss spawns and like a single hit and i'm gonna just be taken out and you know what now that i think about it, i think i've gotten all the eggs i just need to go destroy the cocoon itself to try to activate the boss and oh my god oh my god look at this wave of enemies holy crap <laughs> that is a lot that is a lot okay um well oh my god there's even more over here what do i even do about this i am i might be screwed i i am i might be screwed i am surrounded on all sides right now in terms of enemies my god and there is the boss he just spawned that is concerning look at this giant grouping of enemies oh my god dodge out of the way dodge a mine mine out of the way please mine as fast as you can i am already surrounded can i get through the vines i need to get through the vines yes please and thank you he could jump over the red vines he jumps over them <laughs> we have managed to move away from the group a little bit but not enough still taking quite a few hits there just from these casual guys around i need to mine through the vines i can't do anything about these small guys explode explode no 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 i couldn't do anything about all the small guys i'm not a big fan of the flamethrower i tell you what he's just dancing on my corpse <laughs> well that was the driller the driller is pretty effective i like i like his well his fast drilling capabilities but like i definitely needed some different weapon choices but those were fun to use the flamethrower was good to use for all the dps the acid was nice for just taking away some of their armor we definitely needed something a little bit better the wave cooker was a good choice 
I think the wave cooker would be better than the flamethrower overall. But we needed something that would take out some of the smaller targets that were closest to me. Maybe like a better machine gun or an assault rifle or something of the sort. But my god, we did nearly a million of acid. We did somehow 2400 of cold. We did nearly a million of kinetic, 800,000. We did 1.4 million of fire. Now, considering the fact that the wave cooker and the flamethrower both did fire damage, and I got them before early on, the acid doing nearly 941,000, that is a lot more than I expected. The acid almost did more than the fire. Maybe because it lays on the ground, hits more targets, not sure. But thank you, DigiDees, for checking out the video. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to comment down below, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and all that fun stuff. I am still a small channel, so every little bit does help out a lot. I read all the comments. I see everything you guys do. I greatly appreciate it. So, hey, I still don't know how to do any of these outros, but there's one thing I can always guarantee you. I'll be able to see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and bye-bye.